My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. In this video, Dad wants to say thank you. I fly with my son and get very, very close to the trees on takeoff, and Terry demonstrates the other drone. Well, welcome to another vlog. This one really is going to be a vlog because I think it's going to be a proper little mixture of all sorts of different bits and pieces. But uh, I was asked a little while ago about this hat. Um, for those people who don't recognise the badge, it's a Norwich City supporters cap. But I think I'll let my dad tell you about that. I went to my first football match when I was five at Carrow Road. And it was a day when King George V opened Carrow Road and Norwich moved from playing at the Nest to their new venue. And you basically supported them ever since then, haven't you? And you've been a season ticket holder for lots of years. So it's your fault that I was wearing that cap um, as a result of the fact that we have now been promoted into the Premiership yet again for how many times is this? Is this our fourth, fifth, fourth or fifth? City, and they've not headed to the dressing room yet. Every member of the playing squad down there on the pitch at Carrow the toughest league in the world. It takes some doing to win this league. It takes some doing to win it twice in three years. But Norwich have been rather nice. That. We all were here to watch it together. I mentioned Dad's birthday in last week's video. And I read to him some of the comments and emails that I'd received. I would like to say thank you for all my 91st birthday wishes. It's amazing that I can get wishes from around the world on my son's channel. I wasn't expecting to fly with Toby so the cameras weren't charged and only two of them had enough power to film for a little while. There was a strong northerly which resulted in us going way down the hill, a very slow climb out and closer to the trees than I've been for some time. What are you talking about? We didn't go down the hill? I did go very quiet as I was planning my way out. I could see that the climb out was going to be very, very slow and I saw trees the other side of the valley that I don't usually see. Had we all been flying, that might have been even trickier. Yep. So is that the Clacton wind farm directly ahead of us? It's the first of them, there's now four out there. Okay. No, it's just because we were at the pier literally about an hour ago yeah um, and was uh, we, we, we actually found it quite relaxing seeing all of them out there just doing their yeah, little rotation uh, as opposed to uh, i know that there's a lot of complaints about uh, wind farms but i think they're quite attractive yeah just sort of looking around at the beautiful patchwork uh, quilt effect of all of the different uh, fields it's a lo lovely time of year to be flying to see yeah. all of the different colors and everything isn't it just checking to see. Yeah, that back camera is still working. Do you want to have a fly? Yeah, I can have a little go. All right. You have control. I have control. I will point out here that Toby is a qualified pilot. Just before somebody starts saying anything. Um, I wanted to try this camera. I thought I was going to do some internal shots, but it was in fact dead. Because we won't fly for that long. Toby is more of an avid Norwich City supporter than I am and he wanted to go back and watch the game that you've already seen the end of with Grandpa. Just trying to 
get my bearings as to where, whereabouts we actually are. We've got Manning Tree that way. Hardly Reservoir. Hardly Reservoir. And if we were to, um, if we were to turn on the leg which goes that way, it points us straight back to Nayland. Absolutely, yep. And where do you want me trying to stay at, just in terms of al altitude? I, I, I don't know, we're not, we're going to get bumped around, whatever we do, alright, we can't climb above it, so you might as well stay here. Yeah, I'll 1,500 or thereabouts. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try, I'm getting a little bit of, I can feel the kickback already in the controls uh, today because of the weather. Yeah. Do we want to pop all the way back to Grandpa's or is it going to be a little bit too long of a flight today? It's up to you, I mean, I, I'm not... He won't be out he won't about. Be, he won't be expecting us. Did, did you have a look at the rugby club? Uh, we, we, we can go back and have a little look. Yeah, and no, I didn't know whether you saw it. Uh, I, I, I did take into account the rugby club when, I, when we went past it, so... Okay. You just follow the road round. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was working on. Yeah. That crazy, crazy thing of flying, but actually then nabbing by the roads that you know. Yeah. Is the rugby club now fully operational then? Yeah, I think so. Have you got that lump of green yeah. on the right hand side uh, of the road? I can, I can, I can see. Yeah. a little bit on the uh, bubbly side today, isn't it? Yeah. But the old rugby club still has all of its pitches up as well. Yeah. Oh, hello. Climbing a little bit too high there. Oh no, we just hit an upper. There's a whole lot of um, people on one of the AstroTurfs. I see, because I think it's also the football training and training ground as well, isn't it? I don't know, is it? Yeah. So I believe it's Colchester's uh, main training ground as well now. Okay. Yeah. But I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me. But I remember that field down there from the games which I used to play for Royal London. Absolutely. And I remember from standing on the touchline. <laughs> Whatever the weather. Whatever the weather. Because Mile End is still there, but you can't get to it the way that you used to, because you've got all this whacking great estate here now. Yeah, yeah, you can. A little way down well, the yes, side of the house. Yeah, but you have to go in through the estate and then turn right. Oh, you can't go straight on anymore. No, because there's a that's pedestrian. So you've got to go through the estate and then turn right, join it. That was the alternative home ground, wasn't it? Yeah. We did lose the batteries now, so both cameras failed. It was a bit of a shame, really, because the landing back at Nayland was one of those very rare landing into winds. I agree with those who say that the drones make an annoying noise and need to be flown with care and consideration. I hadn't really thought about them till Terry offered to film me, and I have to say, I am very impressed with the results, especially as these shots are from the small DGI Mini 2. He did also demonstrate his larger DGI Phantom 4 Pro. Terry does have CAA permission to operate them commercially and is insured up to a £10 million limit. He has his own small company called Cloud3 which I will link in the description below.
that's it. It's just a mini two. Yeah. It's uh, 240 grams, so it's really light. That's where the battery goes. Got a little SD card in there, and it all folds out. Um, so you would fold the front. It's a quadcopter, so it's got okay. four. Very neat little thing. And the camera's on the front on a gimbal. Okay. And in a moment, I'll film you actually sort of controlling it. Diving around all over the place, but actually yeah. the the view from the the image is rock steady. Rock steady, yeah. Yeah, running. That noise is because it's picking up you. This one's got all sensors on it. Okay. So this is picking up you that you're less than two meters away. Now we've got, I can see that on there, something. Oh, I've got my sunglasses on, that's why. So there we are. Okay. Yeah, I've got a little bit of reflection on the screen, but I think hopefully that will pick it up. Ah, that's great. The gimbal, so I'm like keeping it all steady, yeah. So we get a nice steady shot, even though the, the drone is actually moving around. Okay, yeah, I mean, and that is a like you have on your cars, you yeah. The car, so it's picking up, it's a rock steady image, yeah. Yet, but yet it's wobbling like mad. really being buffeted by the wind. On the, on the bottom, but yeah, I, I've cut the whole top section. Did you do that yesterday? Mm, day before, I think. So it will do the same thing about climbing to altitude? Yes. Yeah. Maximum flight altitude reached. So now it's going to come back. And it should, well we'll see if it's going to land back on that bit of flat grass. Okay. So they are see no hands. <laughs> and we'll see whether we guess the right patch of grass. Will it pick me up and wonder where I am? Same piece of grass. The weather has been absolutely atrocious this week. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't help looking at these two ducks and thinking, are they trying to tell us something? Having said that, I did manage to get a short flight in on Sunday morning in between the showers. you can see behind the RV there but we are down on the ground we thought we'd better get down quickly because that next lot of rain does look rather nasty and it's heading this way rather quickly you can see from the sky demon screenshots that <laughs> the weather did turn rather nasty so I thought I'd end with a little bit of British springtime David, you might be interested. I know that over there in Australia, you're 
nights are pulling in and you're facing your winter but I think we need to think about the sunshine, the bluebells and the sound of spring. Thank you very much for sticking through to the end of this video. Please remember to like, leave me a comment, it always makes it worthwhile and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching.